Hello everyone and welcome to another Cross Commands video. Today we're going to be doing some attacks in the CWL Elite Division within King Jeffrey. We are doing a war against Blame Adam today. Current score is 5 to 6 and we have 7 more attacks than they do. So I'm going to try to use my contribution to get over the hump and get to 7 triples. First base we're going to look at is number 18. This is a modified version of a kind of old Tang base that we saw in May in the qualifiers. Now that the Warden has been buffed to level 40 instead of level 20, we're going to be able to do a Quad Quake Queen Charge Lalo pretty easily on this base, uh, I think, at least. <laughs> So let's get started with the planning. This section right over here with the two Infernos and the Eagle are, is quite weak. So we're going to break in right there with the Earthquakes. Queen charge right in and take out the two Inferno Towers, the Eagle and the Enemy Queen. Hopefully we're going to grab the two Air Defenses and the Air Sweeper that's pointing that way. Although that doesn't totally matter. So we're going to do that by funneling with a baby dragon at 10 o'clock, the king on this army camp, and then the queen somewhere between the army camp and the builder hut. So we're probably going to use two rages for that area and a poison if the CC comes out. It's a pretty safe assumption that this CC is going to be a hound, like a hound baby or ten archers and a hound, which can be easily poisoned with a Laloon. So the Lalo is probably going to come from 11 o'clock, even though the sweeper is pointing that way, because we are pretty sure that there's a Tesla farm by the bomb tower, so we don't want to just go straight from 6 o'clock and try to path upwards because the Tesla farm is going to block the pathway a little bit. Make it a little bit slower and take out a couple of loons before we get to the town hall. So we want to have a lot of Lalo going as we get into the town hall. So that's the idea. And then the momentum after taking out the town hall is going to carry the Lalo through the rest of the base. So that's the plan. Let's see if we can execute it correctly. Baby drag, king, queen, earthquake. Queen redirect, come on. I know you want to. Thank you. Okay, there's the first rage because it's two expos are going down. And I think that's two healers down to seeking our mind, so that's gonna be a little bit of trouble. Let's start the Laloon early because I'm not sure if the Queen's going to redirect. Let's get a freeze on the enemy Queen. Hopefully we can take that out. Poison and some of that. Okay. So we're going right over the town hall now. Everything's going to plan. Wooden ability. I'm going to save these for the back end. Uh, save the loons.
for each spell to try to carry these loons through the Tesla farm, save the warden a bit. Tornado trap right on the Inferno Tower, but it's too close to the Inferno Tower to make any difference. So we're all okay. I'm going to drop the queen up, and that's a triple. So now we've changed the score to 6-6. Six to six. We were well on our way to a victory. And that's a three star. So next up, I believe we chose number 14. And this is another qualifier's base, I think from a different qualifier, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's from the June qualifier. So we're gonna do the exact same attack Queen charge from the 9 o'clock side, and we're going to Earthquake around this Expo. Should get damage off on the Town Hall and the Eagle. Take a bunch of time off the Queen Walk as well. I'm going to funnel the 8 o'clock side with like a Baby Drag or something. King on the Builder Hut, and then Early King ability to take out the Enemy Queen King. So the Earthquake is going to let the Queen into this core. And eventually she's going to make it to the enemy Queen, which she's a little bit far off, but she should be able to make it. So Lalo is going to come from the top. If the enemy Queen, if it takes too long to get the enemy Queen, if it takes too long to get the enemy queen, we should be able to just let the Lalo distract her a little bit because there will be so much Lalo at the top because that's where we're starting from that she won't really make a difference in the overall attack. And then we can wait, we, then we can wait for the friendly queen to take out the enemy king, queen. So we're just going to Lalo around, and hopefully you should be able to get the Lalo around all three Infernos without any problem. So let's check the CC. And a little bit of traps, trap checking. See if there's anything we didn't anticipate. Looks like Arch and Hound, that's no problem. One Tesla on that side, that's interesting. Uh, that Tesla, specifically. I'm not sure if that's... Yeah, that's probably not close enough to worry about. So yeah, that was a very ambitious kill squad. But like, if that worked, yeah, fair enough. So let's go to the drawing board, see what we have for the army. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if we got our CC yet. Thanks, Jason and FNK. All right, let's see if we need to adjust the army a little bit. So we have the exact same army, which I think is going to be fine. So we're going to do a baby dragon on the spell factory. Yeah, wizard and BK at the top. That'll help take out the BK a little bit quicker. And then queen somewhere on the 9 o'clock side. She'll be naturally funneled into the middle, where the quake spell will meet her. 
when she encounters the CC, it'll be only an expo on her, so that's no problem. Well, expo and the town hall. So Rage Spell can do that. That'll cover it quite fine. Lalo's not going to be... Lalo's not going to be affected by the Air Sweeper. So that should be okay. Let's, uh, let's go in and try to secure the six-pack. So, baby drag, king, and wizard, queen, and boom, king ability, queen, Okay, so that's a good start. Hopefully the king won't distract the hound for too long, because that could be an issue. Queen's losing health a little bit, because the cannon's also on her. So let's just get these uh, hounds, pups out of the way. So that's the town hall. Let's start the Lalo. Okay, enemy queen is down. We have most of the Lalo down as well. Okay, so we just got to keep this queen alive. I was really close to the warden, the warden tower. She's going to take out the warden tower, that's cool. Warden ability, and she can reach the inferno tower as well. So that's a bonus. And it looks like we're going to be able to get this done. Get up to seven triples, and that's a good day. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to update you guys at the end of the video with the final score. But hopefully we're going to keep this uh, victory going. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Cool.